All right, hey. We're gonna be working on more of my Super Mario Bros. X level. Something I uh, keep coming back to every few months, it seems. <laughs> Even though, honestly, I should probably be working on it more. Um, I don't really have a reason, I was just playing a lot of different games. That's about it, really. Anyways, uh, last time I worked on my level, I was doing this section here. This little cave section. And we ended it off with a like, little escape cave thing. I don't, I don't know what to call it. But either way, um, we're going to make a warp that leads into the next level. If I can figure that out. Go to other level. Yeah, we want this to go to war to level four. have another we're gonna have an exit here this is from uh, this is from level three. Warp it, the first warp, obviously. Enter at warp number zero. I mean, I guess that is number zero, isn't it? But yeah, level three was kind of short. Level one, I think, has the most warps. Well, actually, not really. It only has eight zones. And the eighth one isn't even really a because It's not even really a proper zone. Yeah, now we have level four. Which is basically going to be the same. It's going to start out the same as level one, except it's going to be, like, more destroyed and shit. Hmm. Now, how would I want to go about doing this? An idea I had would be to make it look like it's on fire. <laughs> Yeah, but I wouldn't know how to do that. Unless I can find like a good Mario fire effect or something. Hmm. Well, one thing we could start with is by looking at the settings of the level. Like, we can have, um, cinders, and have, like, a lava effect on the bottom. Wave enabled. <laughs> Try that out.
Also, I don't know why it's doing this. I I can zoom this out. I want to snap it to like a 32 by 32 grid. That good? I forgot how damn big this level is. Oh yeah, right. I was gonna remove all these NPCs. How do I move fast again? Was it tab? I don't remember how to move fast in this editor, apparently. Either way. No, I still can't put it- I still can't put it down properly. Guess we're doing 16 by 16, then. Let me try this out. That kind of works. It's not, I feel like that's not bad, honestly. Also, why did it go to the previous level? Can I do a vertical screen effect? How does that look? I want to set the wave to 1.0. Yeah. We can do ambient light. <laughs> do like, uh, I don't know, like kind of a orangey color. Might have to make it a bit darker. Wait, no, I have to enable the darkness. I'm stupid. Oh, shit. That's a little extreme. Actually, I think I prefer, um, I prefer the screen weight, the screen effect being horizontal, not gonna lie. Warps don't work, though. Also, I kind of wonder if there's a way to get widescreen on Mario Bros. X2, because I... I've seen that happen before. Haven't exactly seen it in action, though.
Let me see if my warp works. Um, why is my warp not working? Not letting me, uh, not letting me leave the level. Unless I need to remove this. And then I place the exit. Pretty sure I did. It's kind of confusing. Sometimes these don't work properly. Yeah, the warp isn't fucking working. Can it be a portal, maybe? I don't think the instant works. Unless it does. Okay, yeah. It can't be instant. It has to be portal for it to work. Might change the music up here. I might remove some of the mushrooms. Mushrooms are like right next to each other, you know? Something like that. Essentially what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to make this place look like a ruined mess. Because, uh... Yeah, it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard to achieve that effect. But, I'll try.
Yeah, we can make the houses look like they got exploded and stuff. I could do something out of these tiles here, and maybe make like a dirt or I can make a grassless version, if that makes sense. Question is, here we go. I have Gimp open, pretty sure. How do I even go about making something like that? I think I, what I gotta do is I gotta find the block that, um... What would it be called? It would be a background object, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would be this. Basically this, but it'll have like a line of dirt on it or something. I should back this color up. Did that happen? You know what, let me try this out. I think that's the wrong color. <laughs>
Mm. We can add a bit more detail to that, probably. You know what? I think that's not bad. But what block can we replace it with? I guess... Block 1016? Not what I meant to do. I meant to press F8. Yeah, you know what? That that kind of looks nice, honestly. I can compare it to um, what these blocks. has a bit more color to it. I said that was pretty tempting to just replace all of these tiles, but I, that that's, that'd take a little while to actually get working. So for now, I might just consider against it. tiles is that? It's seven tiles. How many do I have over here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Only six tiles. Yeah, that's a pretty big difference.
Oh, we saw also remove that mushroom too. And this one. Would only make sense. Where would that background object be? Yeah, these background objects? I'm gonna edit them. We're gonna have to find a way to make them kind of look charred, you know? I mean, I could just do this. Yep. <laughs> and then, what's the repeat key? Control F. Oh. There we go. Stupid seven, stupid Winrar, not seven dip. See how that looks. Yeah. Now they look all burnt and stuff. No, this this one this thing this place is not gonna have an off-screen exit this time. Yeah, I kind of like that. It looks pretty cool. How else can I make this place look more ruined? Maybe I should edit the grass textures after all.
You know what? That's not bad. Just do that for all the grass walks. Pretty sure the only tiles I've actually used are the slopes and the standard tiles. Oh jeez, I really have to use the bathroom. I might have to go do that. Okay, I'm gonna use the bathroom. I'm gonna see what I can do while I'm in the bathroom, so I'll be right back, guys.
All right, so I didn't really get a whole lot done while I was in the bathroom, but that's okay. Also, oops, forgot to mute my phone. Also, I don't know if the chat box is working. Might have to refresh that. Probably because I have the shutdown source when it's not visible. I think these kind of fuck with the, um, kind of fucks with things. Yeah. Anyways, I might eventually edit this background and give it, like, a flame effect. But I haven't got around to that yet. I think for now, though, this level is pretty good. Like, there's not going to be a lot to this level, at least to this section. I want to have like a Goomba out here. Hmm. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> Not the new layers. Mario agrees to Goomba. Do I have a- didn't I have a Goomba noise in the first level? I forgot where, though. I think it's, like, right here. Zelda stab. <laughs> I think that's it. Zelda stab. Oh, 
That's not it. Actually, I think it'll work when in when I get to the game. Where did that Goomba go? Oh, this is- wait. Wait, where did that Goomba go? Is he gone? Am I stupid or something? I don't think I put the Goomba down. To write that message again is shit. <laughs> I think I fucked up. Oh well, I'll write it again, I don't mind. All right, let's try it. Let's try it now. All right, he's he's not considered friendly, apparently. What the fuck's going on here?
Does the jump one, does jump not work? Doesn't exactly work, does it? Oops. Hold on, I forgot. Forgot something. Is there a way I can, like, sort these events? Can I, like, drag this? Yeah, I can. Okay, good. thing. Okay, now it's just flat out not working. Fucking... <laughs> they're not working properly. I think I have an idea. Maybe I can have him give, like, the player a power-up or something. That could be a good idea.
Look at this Zelda stab. Alright, here's the friendly thing. Try this out now. That's almost perfect, actually. Yeah, that's exactly why I want to hold the controls. Almost perfect. Actually, what I need to do is, um, Mario agrees to Goomba. There he, he like disappears at the wrong frame. Okay, whatever. We'll do um we'll do 0 0.5 or 0 0.4. Uh 
like I was doing before. Cause that, that, that one seems to work fine. There we go. Ugh. I realize I've been streaming for an hour already. I've barely made any progress. <laughs> So what I want to try and what I want to do is I want to have like enemies here. I just wonder which enemies would be fitting for this section. Big slurp. Getting eaten results in death by default. <laughs> does that mean, does that imply there can be different events based on that? Burner Beal. Honestly though, Burner Beetle sounds like a great enemy idea. I make it so that he hurts you if you run into him. Is global? Oh, I see. Kind of sick of it going to different levels. Hmm. How can I make it hurt me if I run into it? What NPC ID is this? NPC not for 549? Hmm. Okay, let's have a look at that then.
Sure, we'll go with that. I can slide into him. Cycle count. Oh, I see. I think I like, I don't know, 0 0.8 or something. What is fire scale? Does it just make the fire bigger? Oh yeah. I see. Let's put a bunch of burner beetles everywhere. bro. I mean, the Dark Boomerang bros technically are part of the Thwomp army. mushroom here.
I might have to go back and put these bully enemies back in the uh, first level. Because those are those bullies are better than the other bullies. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> The respawner. PC 358. What is this enemy called again? Hopping Flame. Okay. Just throws flames at you. Is it possible to make it so that they don't move? Or I could just make it so that these things have no speed. That could also work. Let's try that out. Oh shit, he's approaching me. Is there a way I can, like, increase how many- how often he drops them? Nope. I 
I can make them like super fast. Yeah, that's like a great idea right there. Having that Lakitu come in and drop fire everywhere. Maybe I can have the lag to a little earlier in the level. Couldn't hurt. how fast that lack of two is though. What if I made him even faster? Like five times speed. Sneeze attack. Oh yeah, he, he is too fast now. <laughs> he is way too fast. Okay, how about 0 0.7 then?
At least not fast enough. <laughs> Unless I could have I could have a Super Mario Bros. 3 Lakitu instead do that. No, the Mario Bros. 3 Lakitu doesn't even drop it. Unless I gotta have him shoot something else. Fire Chomp Flame. How does that look? He shoots it off. He just throws it upwards. If I make a new layer, we call it um, Flame Spawner. Don't it? If you attach this, if you attach everything to a layer, doesn't it like? Doesn't it? Is, doesn't it like force to stay together or something? like forced to move along with where the spawner is, right? I don't think I don't know if that's how that works. Maybe I can combine them together, I don't know. Nope. Now it's not shooting out anything. Weird.
This is a bit harder to figure out than I thought. <laughs> Make it so that hot foot can't move as well. Um, yeah, set the speed modifier to zero. I wish I could figure out a way to have, like, a layer attachment so they can just, like, move together, you know? Basically have, like, a layer follow a certain layer. But I don't know how to do that. Auto start event? Flame guys. Is that Goomba even on the right layer? Yeah, he is. No, it's not moving still. What I wanted to do was I wanted to have a lack I wanted to have like the projector like follow the Lakitu around so it looks like he's shooting out shit. But I don't know how to do that. I know there is a way to do that, I just don't remember how. There's probably a way that I don't know about. Maybe I can look it up on my phone. Hmm. What 
what if I look, how do I word it? Like, how to attach enemies in Super Mario Bros. X, maybe? Hmm. I don't know how to do that. I'm gonna have to look that up or something on my own time, because I can't figure that out. Weird. I'll scrap the idea for now, and I'll figure out something. We also have this Lacka, too. Oh. Maybe I should use this Lacka, too, instead. Her NPC. Yeah, the throw delay. I can customize that with this lack of two. with this lack of two though is he doesn't he doesn't go up and down like the other lack of two so I kind of want the other one back not gonna lie What if... Hang on, I got an idea. What if I... Do this. Attach to layer. And I attach the generator. Will that work? Or that just not work? No, that still doesn't work. Can't I get it to follow him? I was supposed to attach it to attach it to the same layer. Still doesn't work. Is it possible I can, like... What if I attach these blocks? Will they move along with the Lakitu? We got some levels. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Hang on a sec. Maybe I need to do the opposite. What if I have to attach the lack of two? That's a very interesting title, yeah. <laughs> no. 
Are the blocks going to move around now with the Lakitu? No, I guess not. Does, do Lakitu just ignore that shit? Oh yeah, see? See, the blocks fall along with the Lakitu. So why can't the enemies... So he's attached to Flame Spawner. And this thing is on the Flame Spawner uh, layer. Do NPCs not follow that rule or something? I guess they don't. Weird. So in theory, does this mean I could have, like... Hang on. Now I'm just fucking around with shit. Also, let me look at the saucy scent. Oh, damn. That is some good sauce. <laughs> I like that. Goomba test? Let's call it Goomba test. We'll attach them to the Goomba test lair. And then I'll have a enemy called the Goomba. And then when I spawn it in, will it, um... Whoa. <laughs> That's not supposed to happen, is it? <laughs> so I can't have the Goomba attached to the blocks, or else it'll just zip off and die. That's weird, okay. What if I attach this Koopa to, um, the flame spawner lair? Is he gonna follow the Lakitu or no? No, he just he just does his own thing. It's kind of annoying. I wish I could figure this out. I'm trying to attach a projectile spawner to this Lakitu. So the projectile or the so the spawner always follows the Lakitu around, but I can't figure that out for some reason. Kind of sucks. <laughs> Sizzle guy. Oh well. Either way, here's my level so far. Basically, we have this Lakitu. He throws fire onto the ground. <laughs>
Yeah. <laughs> we also have a we also have a enemy spawner here. If you're good enough, you can you can kill the fire. <laughs> so that's my level so far anyway. And honestly, that's probably all I'm going to do for today. Because I've been going for almost two hours, and I think that's a good enough time for the stream. But I like this idea that, like, the Thwomps just sent a shit ton of Buzzy Beetles out to, like, shoot um, fire everywhere. So that's why we ended up with this. Anyways, that's my level for now. When we continue, whenever that will be, I will uh, make an end. We're gonna make the door to the Thwomp Clack Castle. <laughs> Which, by the way, looks it just looks like this. Just a bunch of squares from a new Super Mario Bros. tile set that I found. That I recolored purple and black. Well, at least Zeppy thinks my level looks good. <laughs> But, yeah, basically I'm going to put a bunch of warps that lead inside the castle. And that's when I'm going to start building the new castle. Because, yeah, I, like, I'm not going to just copy and paste the castle from the, uh, the other, like... I'm not going to copy and paste the castle from the first level. Because that would be boring. What I'll do, I might. Well, my, what I might do is I might copy the first section, this part right here. I might copy this, and I'll add like a new section. Like basically, you'll get to the door, and the door will be like walled off or something. You have to find a new way in or something like that. That could be a good idea. So yeah. Might do that. I might have to find a new tile set as well. I might also edit this level a little bit. I'm gonna go in and replace... Can I just do that? Actually, can I just do that right now? Can I replace all of these bullies with... Um, into something else? Transform all NPC 168 into the different bully... Do that. That, that. that should be simple enough, right? I want to test it out real quick before I end this stream. I don't know how the new boldies behave. Kind of buggy, I guess. They can't go down steps. They can't go up slopes for some reason. Okay, that kind of sucks. Not sure why that happens. Oops, don't do that. 
Okay, I might I might turn them back into the other bully then. Weird. I just wanted to see how they behave. I didn't know they would ignore slopes. That's weird. Okay, anyways, let's save level one and level four. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching um, Super Mario Bros. X. I might do more of this on... I don't know. I don't know when I'll do more of this, honestly. Because, unfortunately, my weekends are packed, as usual. But I'm going to bug Zack to play New Super Mario Bros. Wii Nightmare Mode tonight because Seb isn't free today, so we can't continue Paper Jam, which sucks. But, yeah. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. And I'll see you later in the day. That's, that's all I'll know. <laughs> so, take care.